Welcome to homework set number two for EC111. This homework set looks at plotting in MATLAB and solving function equals zero. Now the first one is just kind of fun functions, plotting polar functions in MATLAB. Uh, polar functions give you kind of jet pretty shapes and really trigonometry is all about uh, the circle. In MATLAB, when you do a plot command, plot is always in Cartesian coordinates. If I have a function of polar coordinates, I've got to convert it to Cartesian. So here, for example, I'll have the angle go between 0 and 2 pi. Again, 360 degrees are English units. Uh, rule of thumb is anything English is wrong. The natural units are radians per second. And that's what MATLAB uses. So all the way around is 2 pi. If my function is r is sine of theta plus 2, I've got to convert to uh, Cartesian coordinates. So x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta. And note, I've got to use that dot notation. That tells MATLAB this isn't a matrix multiply. That's element by element. Plot those two, and you get the function. Just for fun, um, I'm going to show off a little bit. I'm going to do that as well. So here's your function plot it. But also plot the unit circle. This is r equals 1. I'm going to plot that in green, uh, along with each point sweeping around. So this is kind of what it looks like in MATLAB. Again, this part isn't really necessary for the homework, but just kind of for showing off. If you do that, I'm plotting the radius of 1. I've got my function. That'll be in blue. And when I run it, here's what it looks like. So I start at 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. The red line is like my radar where I'm sweeping. Currently it's negative. Now it's positive. Sine of theta plus 2 is a circle that's angled down a little bit. So that's the first problem. The second problem is change it to being sine of 3 theta. Now this is where scripts are really useful. In MATLAB you've got scripts or functions. We're starting out with scripts. I've got the script right here. I can modify it. Here's my function. If I want to change it to 3 times theta, I can keep the rest of the script. Just change that one line of code. I'm now plotting r equals sine of 3 theta. And that's the beauty of scripts. They're really easy to build upon. They're really easy to modify. Problem number three is a different one. Cosine of 4 theta times sine of 2 theta. So again, going back to the MATLAB script. And for those with a short attention span, cosine 4 theta dot times sine of 2 theta. Again, I've got to use the dot times. Theta is a 2,000, in this case, it's a 200 by 1 vector. I can't do a matrix multiply, but I can do element by element multiplication. So in this case, if I plot cosine 4 theta, sine of 2 theta, here's what I get. And kind of a pretty shape. So that's the first three problems. That's really just doing MATLAB scripts. If I have a script, it's really easy to modify and do a different function. Problem four is a list of figure. Uh, one way to do this in MATLAB is copy paste. If I copy all this, try to get, come on, grab that. Ooh, 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 ooh. There, got it. Ah, almost had it. Go over to MATLAB. Do file, new script. I can paste that in there. What this one does, this plots cosine theta versus sine 4 theta plus a small angle. That angle is going to change. This is like having two frequencies that are slightly out of sync. If I run this, I get what's called a Lissajou figure. This is problem four. Maybe. Here goes. It kind of looks like a crown that's rotating. I speed it up a little bit. That's listed to a figure. If you ever watched Mad Frank, it's got the creature features on Monday nights, or I guess Friday nights, they used to have that. 
Uh, he would always have an oscilloscope in the background with one of these guys. All that is, is you've got an X input and a Y input. X is a sine wave. Y is a sine wave at a different frequency, and they're slightly out of sync. And that's causing the rotation. Okay, so that's the first set of functions. That's just using scripts in MATLAB. Problem five is a repeat from homework set number one. Find the actual zero crossings for these two equations, two unknowns, or where they intersect. To do that, I'm going to change the problem, make it y1 minus y2, function equals zero. Now find the zero crossings. Now to do that, what I could do is create a function in MATLAB called problem five, so completely original name. I'm going to pass x, and it's going to return the difference between y1 and y2. So if I do that, copy, let's go over to MATLAB. I'll do a new, new, a new function. Function is a keyword that says this isn't a script. This is actually a subroutine. If I go into MATLAB and try running problem five, it's going to give me an error message because there is no such thing as problem five. Problem five is not a MATLAB command. And eventually it says error. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if I then save this, and MATLAB is really slow while I'm recording. Uh, there it is. It says, uh, I don't know what you're doing. If I then save this, I'll save it as the default name, problem5.m. Now problem5 does exist. I can say what is problem5 of 3. Is the solution to the two equations, two unknowns, equal to 3? And nope, the difference is 15.5. Is it equal to 2? Uh, that's better. Is it 1.8? I can guess, guess again, guess again. Or I can use California method, Newton's method, interval halving. If I use Newton's method, what I'm going to do is take my initial guess. I'm then going to calculate the error, perturb it slightly, recalculate the error, and now calculate uh, the next point, really what you're doing. Get my pen up here. I've got my first point, x1 right here. It's got the error. I've got the second point, x2 its error. It's going to take a straight line and figure out where the zero crossing is, assuming that my function is linear. That's what that does. That's Newton's method. If you try it, compile new script. This is a script, not a function. I'm going to start at minus two and iterate and see what it tells me. After 10 iterations, Uh, which one is this? This is problem six of five A. If I try running that, it says the solution is actually minus two point three one five nine, and that's back from homework set number one. There were three solutions to these two equations, two unknowns, that's one solution. Another solution is close to zero. If I try that as my initial guess, it'll iterate and find the solution close to zero. It's actually 0 0.4671. If I try plus two, the solution is 1.8489. And if you want to see what's happening, I could go into here. This slows it down. Uh, this is going to be display x1, E1, and let's have it wait one second each iteration. So now when I run it, you can sit there and see there's the first guess, second guess, third guess. Then the answer is 1.8489, and there's the error. Uh, let's try minus 2 as my first guess. First guess, second guess, third guess. Here's the error. And this is Newton's method. Newton's method, method converges really, really fast. 
And if I make zero my first guess, there's a second guess, third guess, fourth guess. Again, very quickly, the error converges to zero. Kind of a rule of thumb. If you ever see a method with the word Gauss or Newton on it, it's probably a pretty good method. So using numerical methods, I can find the actual solutions. In homework set number one, we use graphical methods and kind of estimated what the solutions are. Here I've got them to at least four decimal places. With that, I can do a, uh, a shoot game. Here I launch a tennis ball and try to hit a target. A device and Academy. I can grab the source code. Again, that really slows it down when I'm recording. Grab 111. Do, 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 do. Grab the shoot game over here. Copy and paste that into MATLAB. Going to do a new, file new. Oh, puppy dog. Paste. So this creates a function called shoot. When I save it, I need to save it as shoot.m. I can now call that. I can't run this directly. This is a subroutine. Subroutines you don't run. Subroutines you call. In the main routine, I can now call it. So over here, this is the command window. I can now do something like shoot uh, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to launch a tennis ball at an angle of 40 degrees, or 40 meters per second. Angle of 50 degrees, target's at 60. If I do that, I miss the target. My target was 57 meters short of where I was. Uh, I had too much juice on it. Let's try 30. This is problem number seven. Guess, guess again, guess again. I, okay, 30 was too much. Let's try 20. That's one way to do it. Keep guessing. Another approach is to use the methods. I'll show you California method. With California method, I first take a guess. Let's say my first guess, x1 equals 40. And then my output y1 is shoot with that value of x1. Again, California method, I just take two shots and from there iterate. Let's have the second guess. X2 is 30. Y2 is shoot using that one. This is actually how howitzers are used. Once you have two guesses, it's a third shot from the howitzer misses you. They're toying with you. The third one is, will nail you if they're really trying. The third guess is based upon the previous two guesses. Is X2 minus the slope x2 minus x1 over y2 minus y1 times y2. There's the slope, or one over the slope, times the error. And kind of figure out how that works. The y's cancel. I've got y over y. So the units are x. I have x minus x. So the units all match up. This says that my next guess should be 25.7088. So let's try it. There's y3 x3, launch the tennis ball, it's coming down, ooh, pretty close, I missed by 2.66. If that's not good enough, repeat. My next guess will be a function of the previous two guesses, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 25.7792. Well, it's the tennis ball. It looks almost like the last one. It's actually a little bit different. They're missed by 0 0.005. So 
So with California method, and four guesses, I'm within 0 0.005. Cut a rule of thumb is there's better ways than just guessing. This is function equals zero. A really useful technique, if I can change a problem into a form of function equals zero, I can solve it using these techniques. Solve it using numerical techniques, you know, like California method, interval halving, or Newton's method. So that is homework set number two for EC111. Again, the point is using scripts, uh, using functions, and solving for a function equals zero.